So you have seen a lot of evolution of technologies and you know because you know 13 years ago a lot of things that we see there were not even there even docker or kubernetes it's like so yeah. new technologies so when you talk about low code uh, uh, from the evolution that we have seen over time where does it fit what what is it yeah so basically if you look at the history of application development we always have been looking as programmers at uh, uh, more productivity Mm -hmm. So striving to uh, use higher level languages to create software easier and faster. Mm -hmm. So from uh, machine language to C to uh, later on uh, COBOL and Java, it always has been a uh, progression of more abstraction and automation. And basically, um, uh, low code is just the next generation of that. We've seen 4GL tools in the past that try to automate software development uh, 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 a lot more than previous 3GL languages like Java and, uh, and C Sharp are. Uh, and basically, low code is the next generation afterwards. But there's a big difference there. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people that have been using 4GL tools um, have struggled with it for uh, two important uh, reasons. One is uh, these environments were too closed. So if you couldn't express your needs in the language provided by the 4GL tool, you're just screwed. You're, right. you're stuck in the, in the environment. Um, Mendix is completely open, so you can always extend your model using uh, Java code on the back end or uh, JavaScript code on the front end. So that's an important difference. And the other difference is basically uh, on your previous question, um, these 4GL tools all kind of died because they missed the paradigm shift in the market. So going from uh, desktop applications to web applications or to uh, uh, multi-channel and mobile applications. So I think the key thing, and that is what, what we ha always have been focused on at Mendix, is to jump on these next waves, these paradigm shifts in the market. So what, what you rightfully said, like when we started, there was no Cloud Foundry or Docker or let alone mobile applications. Mm -hmm. So we continuously uh, need to adopt these new te technologies. And I often say to our customers, like, you didn't just build an application development environment. Mm -hmm. uh, you bought a subscription on innovation mm -hmm. because we continuously add all these new technologies in the platform so that our users can uh, use that to make applications and, and rich and smart applications.